Rangers and behold, The Viewing Globe, a show about the latest Power Rangers news. I'm your host, Jerby of More Phenomenal. Last Saturday, we finally got to watch the very first episode of Ninja Steel and the season is off to an amazing start. However, things just might get loads more awesome with the return of past season Rangers. This was confirmed by William Schufelt, aka Brody, the Red Ninja Steel Ranger. In an interview with the Modesto Bee conducted when he returned to his alma mater, the new Red Ranger said that this will occur during the franchise's 25th season. Ninja Steel's Super Sentai counterpart Shuriken Sentai Ni Ninja actually have clips involving the appearances of the Red Alien Ranger, Mystic Force's Yellow Ranger, and the Red and Green Rangers of Ninja Storm. But I'm guessing that they'll be adding more veteran rangers to this list. There are reports saying that the green RPM ranger actor, Milo Cawthorn, was seen with some of the cast members of Ninja Steel. Look at me! Look at me! Oh, I'm looking. And I think I've seen enough. It has been a couple of years since we've seen past rangers make an appearance on a recent season, which was on Super Mega Force. Many fans, myself included, felt like the anniversary season didn't live up to expectations since we only saw a couple of episodes that featured the returning Power Rangers. Fingers are crossed though that this time around, Ninja Steel will be able to deliver amazing episodes that will showcase quote, the most popular past Rangers. But don't get too excited just yet because according to Schufelt, the guest appearances of the legendary rangers will set to happen next year during the second half of Ninja Steel, which will probably be called Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel. The Power Rangers have been parodied so many times, but the Meower Rangers is arguably the most adorable parody yet. In this short clip, we see the Meower Rangers, a team of felines with attitude, stress on the word attitude, in their command center talking to Zordon, a fish floating inside a tube. They're informed by their fish leader that Akita Repulsa is causing trouble and that Zack, Kimperly, Billy, Trini, and Jason needs to battle her. So they morph, I mean meow, into action but things don't go as expected. In just around one and a half minutes, the Meow Rangers is cuteness overload. Just look at them in their tiny ranger suits! It's also entertaining and funny! So many cat puns! I'm hoping to see more episodes of this parody and I'd like to see more characters such as the cat equivalents of Bulk and Skull. It can watch this video on the... Wait... Uh, I think there's a mistake here. Is this for real? Huh. This is uploaded by the official Power Rangers YouTube channel so does this mean that Meower Rangers is canon? In comic book news, the first issue of the Justice League slash Mighty Morphin Power Rangers crossover dropped a few days ago. This collaboration between DC Comics and Boom Studios features the Teenagers with Attitude unexpectedly winding up in the DC Universe where they meet up with the likes of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and The Flash. Expect to see epic encounters such as Zack going mano y mano with the Dark Knight, the Zords against the Batmobile, and Lord Zed working with other DC baddies to bring down both the Power Rangers and the Justice League. Justice League MMPR is a dream crossover event answering all the what-ifs that fans of both franchises have been wondering for years. It's about time that these two superhero teams interact with each other. I'm excited to see how the Power Rangers will handle metahumans and how the Justice League will manage battling against kaiju-like monsters. This crossover is going to be a six-issue miniseries by writer Tom Taylor and artist Steven Byrne. More graphic novel news as we now learn who is behind the mask of the Evil Ranger in the 11th issue of the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger comics by Boom Studios. Warning, spoilers ahead. Before 2016 ended, it was revealed that Rita Repulsa wasn't the main villain of this comic book series. Instead, she's working for Lord Dracon. Dracon, which is Greek for dragon, 
became an instant hit with the fans because of that amazing Dragon Zord white tiger suit hybrid. Come on, it just looks so badass! Anyway, Tommy and Billy end up in a dystopian Angel Grove. They attempt to get back to their original timeline, however, their alternate reality hopping didn't go so well. Instead, the green and blue rangers landed in the presence of Drakon, who revealed himself to be Drumroll, please? Tommy! Uh, TBH? I had a hunch that Drakon is going to be Tommy with all the Dragon Zord White Tiger motif going on, but I was hoping that the writers will throw a curveball at us. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. But who knows though, maybe there's going to be a different twist in the coming issues. Plus, this is going to be a new take on Tommy facing an evil version of himself, which was first done during the second season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And before we move on to the next story, make sure to check out this awesome video from Comic Storian where he rereads the first few issues of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic book series after watching this video, of course. The upcoming Power Rangers movie has been rated. It's been obvious from the teaser, trailer, and posters that Saban's Power Rangers will be more mature compared to its original 90s source material. But it's not going to be as gritty as some wanted it to be because the movie got a PG-13 rating from the MPAA. Some fans were hoping that this reboot will take on a new darker tone similar to Adi Shankar's Power Slash Rangers and get an R rating. It's clear though that Lionsgate is going for a more kid-friendly movie to include a larger demographic, which in turn will lead to more merchandise sales such as toys. However, the PG-13 rating is still a step up since the first Power Rangers movie was rated PG. Overall, a rating of PG-13 is suitable to the new Power Rangers movie. It gives enough leeway for it to be enjoyable to both younger fans and adults. Let's just look forward that this movie is going to kick ass. Saban's Power Rangers will be in theaters this March. Now for the Power Questions! Which legendary Power Ranger would you like to see during the second half of Ninja Steel? Me, I'd like to see a team up with the Samurai Rangers because ninjas plus samurais equals epic! But how about you? In the crossover comic with the Justice League, which DC villain should Lord Zed team up with? Lex Luthor, Sinestro, the Joker maybe? Leave your answers in the comment section. And those were the latest news about the Power Rangers. Links to everything we talked about in the description. Please give this video a like and share it. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jerby Ranger. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon. This has been Jerby from More Phenomenal. Thanks and as always, may the power protect you.